What is going on dudes? Uh, the scariest part of this Halloween has been the fact that it is October 31st at 9.52 p.m. And I am just now sitting down to do this. Oh, well, I'm a little bit behind, which is normal for me. But here I am, again, another episode of Monthly Madeline. Just absolutely kicking it. For some reason, 46 people have decided that they would like adjust you that they would like to spend their time with me so hey all 46 of you I'm happy you're here thank you for being here I don't know why you're here but that doesn't mean I appreciate it any less but yeah 46 subs we are four away from 50 and about halfway to 100 which would be really cool but it'll come when it comes or it won't it doesn't really make a difference. I'm still having a good time doing what I'm doing when I do it. So that's what I'm doing right now. This last month has just been kind of weird. It feels like things are just happening to me rather than me really uh, dictating what's going on in my life. So I have no idea what happened this month. I just know that I've made it here and I got Ketchup, who is usually right here being my noble sidekick. But today, he's in my roommate's room because her room is on the interior of the apartment and it's warmer in there and it's like, it gets way too cold in here at night for him. Not way too cold, but colder than I'd like him to be, so he's in there. Also, he really enjoys being in there because she has a hamster and I swear that he is on crack because he does not stop. Insert clip of him not stopping now. Anyway, yeah, ketchup's in the other room. I got my hair done this month. I ran a pumpkin run. I bought new clothes, which I'm not wearing. I kind of look like a hobo. Like I'm get, I look like I'm about to go out for a, a spin on deadliest catch. No, I don't. Just kidding. That would be much more intense gear. But I feel like it's winter and it's not. It's October 31st, but it did snow today. So there's that. I really. <laughs> This month is such a mess. I don't know how many miles I ran this month. I didn't, I don't know why I didn't keep track, but I can tell you that it wasn't enough. It, it just seems like everything is falling apart. I promise that I'm fine. Like I'm, I'm good. I just had a month that kind of got away from me and I don't really know what happened. <laughs> it just happened and I happened with it. As far as like running and exercising went, I just didn't keep track because we were this close to the marathon and I should have been running like over a bunch of miles, like over 20 miles a week and I just wasn't. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna run a marathon next week, um, but I'm going to because I signed up for it and that's been my whole goal uh, this entire year. So if I can't do it, then I've got bigger problems. Yeah, I'm really nervous. I think I can do it, but I'm really nervous that something weird will happen and that I won't be able to do it. <sighs> I know I can do half the distance and the other half will just have to come. Resolution update, I feel fine enough. I, my eating is out of control. I, it's a sugary month, okay? You have Halloween candy, you have caramel apples, you have alcohol. All of that good stuff, all mixed together, just means that you're eating like crap and you don't know how it happened. So again, I think last month I said I was gonna get my eating back on track, but um, that didn't happen. So, you know, uh, the next month I actually did plan to do like, I set a bunch of like tiny goals for myself. So I'm just not gonna eat any sweets except on Thanksgiving. I'm gonna drink a bunch of water, I'm gonna be more active. I have all of these plans that I'm going to try to like in, in, entwine in my life right before the new year so that I come in strong and know what's going on. Oh, another reason that this is so late is because you remember that video back in April called A No Good, Very Bad Day? It happened again. <laughs> I woke up with a pink eye, but not pink eye, but a pink, eye. I had a red puffy eye um, because I have a sinus infection and it s settled in my eyeball. So I went to the Minute Clinic today and that was the time and that's why I'm filming this so late because I was supposed to film it way earlier 
but I ended up going to the minute clinic right after work and then I had to go to a Halloween party and have to go, but it was with some of the students from church. So I kind of did have to go because I had told them I would be there. So, you know, I just had a weird day and it just got away from me. And I've had a weird week. I was sick at the beginning of this week and I'm leaving for Cincinnati. Yeah, that's sort of what I'm doing right now. So yeah, I have a sinus infection and pink eyes. I don't have pink eyes, they're actually fine. Uh, I started my antibiotics today, so I'm fine. Yeah, I don't have that much to tell you about because I didn't watch that much. I don't know what I did this month. There's just nothing to tell you about. Uh, I subscribed to two YouTubers. I subscribed to Stephanie Banda and Femhead, which are two YouTube channels, which are two YouTube channels, yes. <laughs> Those are two YouTube channels, thank you. No, I subscribed to Femhead, which is just like lifestyle and they're both just like lifestyle channels. They're pretty much the same thing. I found them for the same reason because I'm on birth control right now and I'm looking to go off of birth control, which might be a spoiler for something I'm doing next year. But yeah, I'm going off of birth control and I'm really scared and nervous because I don't know how my body will respond because I've been on birth control since I was like 18. They're both just lifestyle people who talk about birth control and women and um, reproductive stuff. And that has been really interesting for me. And I'm really interested in women's reproductive health and that kind of thing. Because it's very complicated and very interesting and there is a lot of stuff that goes into it and it affects like the rest of your body, which is not cool. Men, what is it like to have reproductive organs that don't impact your whole entire being? shows for this month. I started watching My Hero Academia and I have fallen in love with it similarly to how I fell in love with Naruto. It is just so good and so great and I'm in love with the storyline and the characters and the ladies. Mr. Aizawa, Racerhead. He's my guy. He is my, he's like the Kakashi of this show. I love him. Like there's a lot of parallels there between Naruto and My Hero Academia, which is probably why I like it so much, but if you're looking for an anime to watch, that one is good. Plus, they just started releasing season four and it's on Hulu. Yeah, that's all I did this month. I just didn't know what was going on and it's one of my favorite months of the year, so that's really sad that I didn't know what was going on or didn't film more festive things. November is right around the corner, as in like in two hours. <laughs> So yeah, that'll be fun. We'll get into Thanksgiving and Christmas and Christmas is like my peak favorite time of the year. So yeah, also next time I'll see you, I'll help run a marathon and the new Pokemon will be out. I guess I could see you before then. The next time I see you for this particular video, Pokemon will be out. So get excited. I'll see you guys next month. Thank you for coming to my not so spooky episode of Monthly Madeline October. Bye.